What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and I love to smell amazing. Tonight's video, I'm gonna bring you guys seven fragrances that leave her intoxicated. We're all on the same sheet of music here. Let me read off what the definition of intoxicated is. Just a minute. So the definition of intoxicated reads, to cause someone to lose control of their faculties or behavior. So as I said, gentlemen, I'm gonna give you guys seven fragrances that leave her intoxicated. These are the fragrances that when you walk by, she's like, who is that? I'm talking about those fragrances. So if you guys wanna know what seven fragrances are in my collection that leave women absolutely intoxicated, and make them act up, so to speak. <laughs> Keep it locked right here. Alright guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Like, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about each of these fragrances because you probably heard a lot about note breakdown and stuff like that. That's not what this video is for tonight. I'm just going to kind of get to right to the heart of these fragrances so you guys can know what they are. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you trust my opinion on fragrances, you already know what time it is. Just take your boy word for it. These fragrances are the ones that scramble her brain. Let's get into it. So the first fragrance on this list, I've talked a lot about this fragrance on the channel when it comes to the summertime. One of my most complimented summer fragrances so far to date. This one is from the house of YSL and this is Y. I told you guys before, as I said, this fragrance gets a lot of positive attention and a lot of compliments. Again, these are the fragrances when you walk by, that scent trail and that sillage catches them right there in their nostrils. <laughs> they want to know what it is that you're wearing. And this fragrance right here works to perfection as it relates to getting positive attention and leaving her intoxicated, wondering what was that that just hit me? So the first fragrance I'm mentioning tonight is YSLs, why? Next fragrance that I want to talk about again, this is one that comes from the house of Creed, and as I said before, this is my most complimented Creed. Women seem to love these fragrances that have these, these floral notes in it. This again works really, really well on your boy's skin. So I'm talking about none other than Silver Mountain Water. When I walk by somebody or somebody walks by me, this one always seems to stop them right in their tracks. And of course, as I said before, they want to know what it is that I'm wearing. And this one is really, really good for doing that. Again, it's, it's floral. It's got that kind of relaxing vibe. And it kind of leaves her in a trance, so to speak. Again, this is my most complimented creed in my entire collection. And I have a lot of creeds. And that's saying a lot. So the second fragrance that I want to mention tonight that leaves her intoxicated is Silver Mountain Water. The next fragrance on this list kind of caught me by surprise, honestly, when I first got it, you know, and the experience I had with it after I really started getting into wearing it, I was very impressed with the results. And the fragrance that I'm talking about is from the House of Parfums de Marley, and this is Percival. Now, Percival reminds me of one of the first fragrances when I started wearing fragrances that I used to really love to wear all the time. If you guys ever walk by the, the Apple Property and Fitch store, you know exactly what fragrance I'm referring to because this fragrance reminds me a lot of uh, Apple Crombie and Fitch Fierce. I used to love rocking that fragrance. Used to get a lot of compliments wearing that and this one is no different. I remember one day I was wearing this. I was going into lunch. I was going into Chick-fil-A and walked past. I walked past this young lady and she stopped right in her track and said, oh my God. What is that that you are wearing? I love the scent of that. And I was rocking this one right here. Happens a lot when I'm wearing Percival for Parfums of Marvel. This one stops them right in their trails. The next fragrance on the list tonight is from the house of Giorgio Armani, and this is Aquadigio Profumo. This fragrance to me kind of in some, to some extent took some slack when it came out because some people were trying to knock it. I don't know why. But when you take the best-selling men's fragrance of all time, Aquadigio, and you throw some sexy incense and patchouli in there, <laughs> of course it's going to get ladies' attention. And this one does that like no other. This is kind of familiar to them, but it's a little bit different. It's a bit of an element of surprise. It's something new when you wear this one. So it smells familiar, 
but then yet it smells kind of different. And that's what really catches people's attention. So this one is definitely one that stopped women right dead in their tracks from the house of Giorgio Armani. This is Apodigio Profumo. The next fragrance on my list, the only issue that I have with this fragrance is the fact that I did not get it sooner. I heard a lot of people talk about it and a lot of people talk about how it performed differently on uh, different people's skins. Like look, it works magic on my skin and I'm talking about in the house of essential molecules. This is molecule 01. This is a molecule again, so some people say it's a fragrance, but it's not really a fragrance, but what I will tell you is this. When you walk by somebody wearing this, it catches their attention. I'm gonna tell you how I know. When I first put this on, I walked past my wife and she stopped dead in her tracks and said, oh my God, what is that that you're wearing? I was rocking molecule 01. She started wearing it. And one day I came home from doing some work out in the yard and she had it on, she just showered. She had this on and she stopped me dead in my tracks. And she was wearing Molecule 01. So I'm telling you guys, this one's been around for a while, but if you have not tried it yet, <laughs> I'm telling you, this one works. It's gonna stop them dead in their tracks from the house of eccentric molecules. This is Molecule 01. All right guys, I got two fragrances left and I'm not gonna belabor the time. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. From the house of amazing Francis Kirkjohn, this is Baccarat Rouge 540. I've worn a lot of this fragrance for a reason because this thing works magic on my skin. Um, I did a full review on this and I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Uh, to me, it's one of the best reviews that I did because it was so hard to kind of describe this fragrance. A lot of people talk about the fact that it kind of smells like this burnt, sugary, candy thing and that's cool, that kind of sums it up. But this fragrance does so much on my skin. It's like, I've said it before, I feel like it's gone, but it's still there. And when I'm reminded of the fact that it's still there because when I'm walking sometimes and the air hits, I can catch whiffs of it when I'm walking. But the response that I get from other people when I'm just kind of walking by and I see their heads turn and they give you that look like, yeah, you smell good today. That's what this fragrance right here does. It always catches people's attention because it's such a unique scent profile, man. And what this stuff does, it does it like, honestly, like no other fragrance. And that's evident by the fact, because just like fragrances like Aventis and fragrances that became very popular, a lot of people are starting to try to clone Baccarat Rouge 540. It's a testament to how good this stuff is. So the six fragrances on this list that I've mentioned tonight, in the house of Mason Francis Kirkjohn, this is Baccarat Rouge. And the last fragrance on this list, can you guess what it is? No, it's not Aventus. How could I have a fragrance list that talks about fragrances that leave her intoxicated if I don't mention intoxicated from the house of Bacillia? Man, you talk about a beautiful coffee-based scent right here. It smells very similar to Amen, the original Amen from Mugler, except doesn't have that tar thing going on. That tar kind of vibe that you get from Amen turned me off from it for a while. A lot of people love it because it's really unique and it was really the first of its kind to kind of do that cold patchouli thing the way that it did. But it kind of turned me off from it. I developed my palate a little bit more and I started to really appreciate it. But this doesn't have, this smells like Amen, but it doesn't have the tar note in it. So that's what you get with intoxicated and again <laughs> with a name like intoxicated need I say more this one definitely is one that stops women dead in their tracks and leaves them intoxicated hey guys that's my time thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on seven fragrances in my collection that leaves them absolutely intoxicated I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this because I know of course you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right here with me your boy Voltaire fragrance guy and I sincerely appreciate that don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out to people that you think will find this entertaining or could find this information beneficial and useful. I'm your guy, Darren Bowtie, fragrance guy. I love to look good, and I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.